Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new disc golf video. Today I've got the top five most underrated trilogy discs in my opinion. I want y'all to leave in the comment section down below some of the most underrated trilogy discs or just discs in general that you guys throw or you guys have thrown in the past. I'd love to hear those because there are so many discs out there that just don't get the attention or the hype they deserve because there are a lot of great discs and I'm going to share my top five trilogy discs. So if you guys really enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and I'll make sure to drop part two to this video, but let's go ahead and get into it. Before we get into the video, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button. I think about 89% of the people watching are not subscribed. It's completely free. Just hit the subscribe button and you can change your mind whenever you want. I'd really appreciate it. I'm trying to get as many subscribers as I can to grow my channel. So yeah, if you wouldn't mind, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot. All right, so the fifth most underrated disc, in my opinion, is the Maverick. Now, I've been throwing this Maverick in particular for over a year, and I just, I think the Maverick is so underrated because a lot of people think maybe it's too flippy for them or they don't need a disc um, that's, you know, pretty understable. But really, the Maverick is an amazing disc. If you live in an area where there's a lot of woods, then the Maverick is a go-to for easy hyzer flips, easy turnovers in the woods. Um, and the Maverick actually can be pretty stable in more premium plastics. So if you guys get the Tour Series Lucid X Mavericks, they can be pretty stable um, and more stable than you would expect. When I started throwing the Maverick, it was more stable than I expected. It was very straight out of the box. And as I've beaten it up, it's gotten you know more understable. But I think the Maverick is something that players of all skill levels can use. You see Mavericks being thrown by beginners, but you also see touring pros like Zach Melton and Eric Oakley also throw Mavericks. So the Maverick is just so versatile, so use, so useful for our, all types of players. And if you haven't tried it out, you definitely want to try it out. The Maverick is a great disc. So that is number five on uh, the most underrated trilogy discs. Number four on my list is the Marshall. And in particular, this one is a soft Marshall. And the reason I think this disc is so underrated is because the Marshall gets overshadowed by other trilogy throwing putters like the Judge or the Warden and, and the Emac Judge. So the Marshall kind of doesn't get the love it deserves. The Marshall is actually way more stable than you would expect. The Marshall I think is the best throwing putter or one of the best throwing putters from Dynamic Discs in particular. Um, and especially in the soft plastic, it's pretty stable. If you release it on hyzer, it's gonna hold, and the soft plastic really sticks next to the ground. And people tend to throw a judge or something like that, but the Marshall just flies differently, and it, and it just feels a bit different, and I think it feels better for throwing in particular. So if you are in uh, the market for maybe a new driving putter or an upshot disc, you've gotta check out a Marshall. Um, now, they're a bit harder to find because they aren't um, dynamic, doesn't manufacture them as much, but the Marshall is fantastic, and if you can get your hands on one, it's definitely worth it. I've thrown the Marshall for a while, and it's gonna stay in my bag just because it sits next to the basket and it's more stable than I would think, and so it fits that spot for me as my overstable backhand approach disc or driving putter. So I really like the Marshall. I think you guys should try it out if you haven't already. Um, so yeah, make sure to check it out. All right, number three on my list is the Verdict. And this right here is actually the 2021 Chris Clemens Team Series Lucid X Verdict that I throw. But pretty much all Verdicts, I think, are underrated. They get overshadowed by the Emac Truth and people, a lot of trilogy players will go straight from Emac Truths to a Justice. And so they kind of skip the spot that the Verdict holds. And the Verdict is super good on a forehand mid-range. There aren't a lot of mid-ranges that feel really good for forehand, but the Verdict is one of those. And my run in particular is Domi, so I really prefer it for backhand. But if you can find a flat run of Verdict for the forehand, then you're gonna find a lot of success. And Verdict has a slightly shallower feel, in my opinion, uh, than the Emac Truth, and it feels better to me than the Emac Truth. Um, but the Verdict just has that extra stability that if you are playing a lot of open courses or windy courses, you're gonna need, uh, and the Emac Truth may not provide for you. The Emac Truth is straight, and then it fades, 
verdict and kind of hold a pushing hyzer the whole time or you can rip it flat and it'll have a harder fade or fade a little bit quicker so the vert is very underrated as a mid-range just in the entire trilogy lineup i know there are a lot of great trilogy mid-ranges but the verdict really stands out to me because it does get overshadowed by the emac truth and i think people should give the verdict a try um, because I, I really think it can find a spot in a lot of people's bags um, because the verdict just has a way of pushing through the air and staying stable throughout the whole flight and it just feels like you can rip on a verdict and i really really like that so if you haven't checked out a verdict definitely try it um mid-ranges have always kind of been touchy for me i've never been a huge mid-range guy but when i got the verdict i knew this was a good one and i knew i'll always have a verdict in my bag so definitely check out the verdict that's number three on my list for the most underrated discs all right number two is a disc from latitude and it is the gauntlet by latitude this is a putter and this is my favorite throwing putter i've ever thrown and i've tried so many but the gauntlet is incredible this one is an opto but the gold line i also have one of those and it is very good in the gold line as well um, but the gauntlet if you are a judge thrower you have got to try the gauntlet because this disc just feels slightly taller and fuller in the hand opposed to a judge and it's just got a really nice profile. Now, as for flight, it's really very similar to a judge in flight. You know, it, it'll go straight, it'll fade, it can hold a hyzer, it can hold an anhyzer and flatten at the end. But the feel in the hand, I just really prefer the gauntlet for all my putter shots. And if you have not tried the, the gauntlet from Latitude, you've got to give it a try. There are so many great trilogy putters, and I think just dynamic Latitude West Side just as a combined group, make some of the best putters in disc golf, but people don't shine light on that because of the big names in other companies. You know, you've got the Luna from Discraft, the AVR, you know, the P2, you've got all these name brand, you know, big, very popular putters, but there are so many trilogy putters that just, they feel different. And so if you, if you have the opportunity to try all of them out, you're gonna find a putter that just feels the best for you and the gauntlet is that putter for me. And so you've just got to give it a try. It's great. It's also kind of hard to find, similar to the Marshall, but if you can't get your hands on it, you've got to try it. The gauntlet is fantastic. I highly recommend it to every skill type. You can use it for putting, you can use it for throwing, you can use it for upshots, you can use it for whatever. The gauntlet can do everything, and it's a great throwing putter. Number two on my list for the most underrated trilogy disc. All right, guys, and that disc is the Musket from Latitude 64. Now this is my newest one. This one is actually really, really new. I got this not too long ago. Um, and so this is pretty much a brand new musket. And I have another one, this exact same color, but the stamp is really faded and it's over a year old. So that one is is my flippy musket, but this, a musket out of the box and a traditional musket is, it's a 10 speed, what I kind of refer to as a hybrid driver. Um, for me, it gives me that rim width, that rim feel, kind of like a controllable driver, but the musket goes really far. And if you, and if you can you know, put a good move on the musket, it can get the same distance as distance drivers, but it gives you that control. And that's what I really, really like about it. The musket is point and shoot. If you want it to hyzer, it can hyzer. If you want it to go straight, it'll go straight. If you want it to hold an anhyzer, it'll hold an anhyzer. If you have not tried a musket, you are missing out and I'm talking to every single type of player if you are a pro and you don't have a hybrid driver slot if you haven't tried the sergeant or the musket these discs are game changers and if you're newer and you want to try out a faster disc go to a speed 10 before you go to those you know 12 13 speeds you'll find more success with a musket than you will with like a raider or something like that so definitely try out a musket it's in my opinion the number one most underrated trilogy disc uh, leave in the comments down below what discs do you think are very underrated by Trilogy and also just in general. There are so many discs out there. There are so many discs that people tend to enjoy. So definitely drop in the comments what are some underrated discs in y'all's opinion. But that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. I'll make sure to make a part two. I may even do the most overrated Trilogy discs. 
Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed this making this video, and if you did, and if you enjoyed watching, then leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for the support as of late. We're growing a lot. The support on the videos have been, has been really, really overwhelming, and I, I really thank you guys for all of that. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.